Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Let's take a look at UV mapping this character's shirt and his arms. I'm going to select this shirt and go ahead and go over to the UV editing layout. And um, for this, I think all I really need to do is mark seams based on where the seams of the piece of clothing would be in the first place. Like, there would probably be a seam on this shirt right about here and probably over here. So I'm going to select those and press Control E and mark seam. And now let's see how that works. I'm going to select everything. Control E. Nope. No. No. U. And unwrap. All right, so there's our first unwrap. I'm going to turn on stretch here just so we can see the blue um, of the map. Uh, that looks pretty good. I pretty much go with that. But the, the only issue I have is where's the front? Which side of this is the front of the shirt and which side is the back? Because I'm going to need to know if I'm going to take this into Photoshop or GIMP and put uh, a logo on it or something like that. So what I'm going to do is come down um, over here to the bottom of the UV editing view and this little guy right here keep UV and edit mode mesh selection in sync and I'm going to turn that off and go to face mode and if I select a face I can see that here it is here so I know that this part is the front let's go take a look at one of these arms um, I'm gonna press control up arrow to go to full screen and Shift H to isolate it. So, how to map an arm or a hand or both? Um, for this, what I'm going to do is, um, I think what I'm going to do is mark a seam down here underneath the arm because um, that will be the least seen area. Okay, so there's that. But I also want to make sure, since this is the front of the character, I want to make sure there's no seam here at the front of the thumb. So to do that, I'm going to take the seam back this way. And I think I'm going to go this way. So what I'm going to do is press Alt, Shift, and Select, and that will select a row of edges, so Alt, Shift, Alt, Shift. So I'm going to have to do this all the way around. And here I'm going to come down and then select these edges around down to the thumb and maybe right around here. So let's see how this worked. I'm going to press Control E, mark seam, select everything, press U and unwrap. And here we go. Here is the UV map of our hand. It looks like kind of a mess, but it's actually pretty good, I think, in that we've got the fingers fairly well, um, the shape of the fingers fairly well maintained. So if we wanted to, we could go in and paint the textures for the fingernails and see where they were, paint the wrinkles of the knuckles, and um, I think that would work pretty well. But let's take a look at how the texture pattern looks. What I'm going to do is just come back over here to the node editor, and I'll just assign that checker material that we created earlier to the object. And it doesn't look too bad. Let's put the checker pattern on the other pieces as well. I'm going to go back to object mode and press Alt H to bring back the rest of the figure here and select the shirt. And let's assign the texture pattern to that as well. All right, not too bad. Let's also get this little piece here. I'm going to press Shift-H to isolate it. This is just a little tiny piece 
uh, for the t-shirt underneath the main shirt. I'll just um, select it and hit U and unwrap. And that should work just fine. How about the other arm? Let's take a look at how we might do the other arm. The best way to do the other arm, I think, at least for right now, is just to select it and, and delete it and then mirror over the arm that we've already done and it will bring over the UV map that we've already done. All right, let's take a look at the pants. The pants are pretty much the same as the shirt. We would just uh, select seams based on where the seams of the piece of clothing would probably be in the first place. So let's just select these and maybe one um, underneath here. Let's mark the seam and unwrap it. And there we go. Now let's put a texture pattern on this and see how we did. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this so the uh, the waist of the pants is um, right side up. And what I'm going to do is actually go to vertex mode here and I'm going to select control drag these pieces right in here, these vertexes. And all I'm going to do is just rotate and move so they're straight up and up and down. And then we can use a little bit of the pinning and live unwrap tool to align the hips of the pants to the legs. Let's select the legs here and pin these. Now with live unwrap on, what we can do is hit the scale tool or the or the move tool, whatever we want to do. I'm going to hit scale and everything that isn't pinned interactively or automatically unwraps. So now this is more um, in line with the legs. So I'm going to select all and unpin with Alt P. Now let's do this for the other one as, as well. Now I'm going to pin these and then just hit the scale tool and the rest pops into place. Now if we take a look at the shoes here, I'm going to select a shoe. Let's focus in on it and press Shift H so we can see it. So let's start with um, let's start with the tongue here. With the tongue, all we really need to do is just press U and unwrap, and there we have the tongue. And really, I think all we need to do on the toe is the same thing: U and unwrap. I'm going to select a few faces along the bottom here using the circle select tool. I'm going to press the C key and then just click and drag some faces down here. And let's choose that one as well. And then I'm going to press control plus key on the numpad to expand the selection. Okay, so now that I have all of the sole of the shoe selected, I'm going to Just unwrap this, I think. So I'm going to press U and hit unwrap. So now I think I'll just select this row of faces up here and press Control plus and expand the selection down so that I get everything else. And unwrap that. So now we have our character all UV mapped. And what we want to do is we want to get all of our mapped islands onto the same UV map. So I've got the shirt here, and I've got the arm here, and I've got the head here, but I need them all on one UV map. To do that, what you have to do is join all the objects together. So I'm going to select all of my 
pieces, the arms, the, the clothes, the head, etc. And press Control J to join them all into one object. Now if I go to edit mode, I can see all the UV islands in the map. Now they're all they're all a mess, but if I select them all and press Control A to average island scale and then Control P to pack them all into the um, zero to one space, there they are. Now I'm gonna uncheck rotate here so they all kind of align back upright. And this looks pretty good. The only problem I have with this is that the important part, the head and the face, really isn't big enough in the, um, in the map. So let's se select that one piece and just scale it up until we think it's big enough. There we go. That's a little better. Now if we select all, and instead of hitting Control A, now we just hit Control P. That will pack them all in, keeping the scale that I established. So there is mapping a uh, a character. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.